From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ropecast, and hi, Roger. Hello, Peter. Is, is that a Kindle you have lying there? Yeah, that's a Kindle. Yeah, I don't uh, have one of those. Nah, well, you know, I took your advice from before Christmas. I downloaded The Gardener and the Carpenter by Alison Gopnik. Oh, yes. So yeah. I, but, and, but I prefer reading it on a Kindle. Okay. I like to have a book in my hands. but and, make, Yeah, make well, sure. I can look up vocabulary that I yeah. don't know yeah. in English, which is a good thing. Yeah, although your vocabulary is fantastic. Thank anyway. you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> No, I was, you know, I read that book and I enjoyed reading it, although I'm not a parent. It's mm -hmm. supposedly aimed at parents as much as anybody. But I thought a lot of the stuff in here is really about how children learn, mm -hmm. which means it's relevant to us in our broadcasts because we are helping learners learn English. Well, that's true. Enough. I hope. <laughs> we, we both hope so. Yeah. Yes. And from some of the ideas that came out of this, after all, it's based thoroughly on, on research into how children learn. Child psychology, people normally call it these days. I was reminded of one of my many visits to local schools here by invitation to watch a former student teaching a class of young learners. Okay. And this was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I went into the room with the teacher early in the day, and these were very young children, 10, 11 year olds, who are learning English as their first foreign language, as we say. Mm -hmm. And they'd been learning for about 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. So in we went, and I was introduced in English by the teacher. And then there was a little bit of question and answer in English between the teacher and the children. Of course, the children struggled to ask questions in English. But After they, 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. They managed to do a few things. And it just went on from there. And the teacher's lesson plan went out the window. And it was one of the best classes I have ever observed. Mm -hmm. The teacher had the confidence to let the kids take over, and they were so motivated, and they tried well, so you hard. You were a real person, so yeah. they could yeah. see it, and you were, well, you're a nice guy anyway. Thank but, you. <laughs> uh, but of course, they were interested. Yeah. He's this guy who apparently doesn't speak our language, where he can actually communicate. Yeah, because I've been to many other lessons with older learners, people who've done several years of English already, and then it works so much better. But the bugbear, I would say, of most teaching situations is there is a course book and teachers are kind of expected to follow the course book. They don't have to use everything that's in there, mm -hmm. but if they don't more or less follow it, they tend to get into trouble, mm -hmm. either with the school principal or with their colleagues. Or, or with the parents. Oh, and how? <laughs> <laughs> now, you are a parent. <laughs> yes, but I don't give uh, my the teachers of my children a lot of trouble. Mm. If anything, I would probably, because I am on your side, <laughs> I would prefer them to leave the books and the grammar aside sometimes a little bit more often mm. and look at what children would actually like to learn. Yeah. That's maybe one piece of advice also here for our learners. Just learn what you like about it. Yeah. It, this may sound extremely simple, but if you want to watch I don't know, crummy science fiction shows in English. Yeah, well, fine. Yes. Uh, it'll help your English. It's the same with reading. It doesn't really matter what they're reading. It's preferably a book, whether it's a paperback or a Although Kindle I, or something. Although I will make a case for comics. <laughs> oh, that too, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever motivates them. Because I think what's really important for young learners, and to some extent somewhat older learners, puberty and just beyond, mm -hmm. they're still exploring. They're exploring the world. And they're exploring language. Mm -hmm. And if you let them run with it, they will do amazing things. However, there is maybe one problem here. If you're saying, or if we are saying, okay, teachers need to be different and not stick to their course books like slaves. Yes. Wouldn't this mean that the learners have to be a little bit different from what they are right now? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's really essential. I think we will need another podcast to talk about that issue. Okay, fine. Okay. So, in two weeks, we'll talk about this again? Yeah. Okay, bye for now. Bye for me too. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton 
and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. Mm-hmm.